Hi guys, we're gonna go into Mrs. Sparling's chicken coop here at her house. Um, we'll see some eggs, some small chicks, and some hens that have been laying eggs recently. We're gonna kind of just talk about a little bit about the life cycle of a chicken real quick, okay? So let's go inside. So we have this blocked off right now because in the front part of our chicken coop, we have some little chicks that um, one of the teachers at Northwestern um, was able to give us when they hatched their chickens from their eggs. Come on in so you can see them. So they're all different kinds. We're not sure what they all are yet, but you notice how they're all different colors and they're different um, heights and some of them have more feathers than others quite yet. Um, they like the lamp is there for their heat to keep them warm and this is where they get their food from some corn and some little pellets for the chicks and then over here is their water they like to kick their sawdust up into it and then here's the little chickens <laughs> I think those black and white ones are my favorite ones. They're so cool. Can you hear their little sound? My kids are helping me do this video. Oh, this is Callie. Hi. <laughs> and this is Corbin. Hi. <laughs> so now we're gonna go inside the actual big part of the cube. and see our big chickens. These are our hens. And there, that's how they go outside to go play. And then this is our chicken coop. And they rest up here on these boards that come across at night. Did you know a chicken sleeps on one of these boards at night? So this is what it looks like with our chickens roosting on the roost at night. They all sit up there, and that's how they sleep. So we have some food hanging up high for them, and then we keep some down low, and down here. Yep. And we have a chicken right now in our nesting boxes. This is where they lay their eggs. So when the chicken gets up, I don't see any eggs in either one of those. Let's check the bottom one, not in that one. So when this little girl gets up here, she will have an egg under her when she's all done. Sometimes when we come out, we'll have four or five. Sometimes there'll just be one in the box, it just depends. Over here, they have food hanging, and then they have their own little water source right here. These little cups, the little water comes into those little cups right there and they drink them, they tap them, and then the water comes into them. When these chicks over here get a little bit bigger, yep, we'll take them and we'll let them go into the big coop for a little bit at a time. Um, mm -hmm. So the big chickens get used to them a little bit. Yeah. We don't actually have a rooster right now that we know of, but some of these little baby ones that we have could possibly be um, a rooster. We're just not sure yet. Um, but if we had a rooster, they go through and they fertilize the eggs and they um, then that's when you get the babies and the eggs. So without our rooster, we can't do that right now, but instead we get to have eggs for everybody to eat. In a little bit, I'll show you what we do with the eggs. This is our coop for outside. So all the chickens came outside. We have a double fence so the coyotes can't get to them. And then down here, we have a green grass planter box. So this grows up and the chickens are able to go on top of there and eat the grass out of there to keep them healthy. Um, here's our little pup, Stella. Hey, Stella girl. <laughs> she likes to explore the chickens a lot. Hey guys, so this is what the eggs look like from the chicken coop. Sometimes they'll have sawdust on them and so forth. Sometimes they come out pretty clean. This one, we just are going to rinse it in the water. Sometimes I'll use a rag if they're yucky. 
We rinse it off into the water. And then we turn around and we just set them on a nice clean towel to let them air dry a bit. But you can see all the different colors that we get of the chicken eggs um, from the different chickens that we have out there. So we take these eggs then and we turn around and we put them into an egg carton that we get. And we then turn around and sell them to different friends who need eggs. So let's count the eggs together real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight eggs in this. How many more do I need before it's full? One, two, three, four. So four plus eight would be 12 eggs all together in this carton. Hi, my friends. We're gonna read Chicken Little today. After exploring our chicken coop, this is a perfect book to go along with it. So the title of the book is Chicken Little. It's in the big letters. And the pictures are by Laura Rader. Remember, she's the illustrator. She draws all the pictures. One day, Chicken Little was scratching in the leaves. An acorn fell out of a tree and hit her on the tail. Oh, said Chicken Little, the sky is falling. I must run and tell the king. So she went along and went along until she met Henny Penny. Good morning, Chicken Little, said Henny Penny. Where are you going? Oh, Henny Penny, the sky is falling, and I'm going to tell the king. How do you know the sky is falling? asked Henny Penny. I saw it with my own eyes, and I heard it with my own ears, and a piece of it fell on my tail, said Chicken Little. Then I will go with you, said Henny Penny. So they went along and went along until they met Cocky Locky. Good morning, Henny Penny and Chicken Little, said Cocky Locky. Where are you going? Oh, Cocky Locky, the sky is falling and we are going to tell the king. How do you know the sky is falling? asked Cocky Locky. I saw it with my own eyes and heard it with my own ear and a piece of it fell on my tail, said Chicken Little. Then I will go with you said Cocky Locky, and we will tell the king. So they went along and went along until they met Ducky Lucky. Good morning, Cocky Locky, Henny Penny, and Chicken Little, said Ducky Lucky. Where are you going? Oh, Ducky Lucky, the sky is falling and we are going to tell the king. How do you know the sky is falling? asked Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny told me, said Cocky Locky. Chicken Little told me, said Henny Penny. I saw it with my own eyes and heard it with my own ears. And a piece of it fell on my tail, said Chicken Little. Then I will go with you, said Ducky Lucky, and we will tell the king. So they went along and went along until they met Goosey Lucy. Good morning, Ducky Lucky, Cocky Lucky, Henny Penny, and Chicken Little, said Goosey Lucy. Where are you going? Oh, Goosey Lucy, the sky is falling, and we are going to tell the king. How do you know the sky is falling, asked Goosey Lucy. Cocky Lucky told me, said Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny told me, said Locky Cocky. Chicken Little told me, said Henny Penny. I saw with my own eyes and I heard with my own ears and a piece of it fell on my tail, said Chicken Little. Then I will go with you, said Goosey Lucy, and we will tell the king. So they went along and went along and finally came to the king's palace. Oh, your majesty, we have something very important to tell you, said Goosey Lucy. The sky is falling. The sky is falling? 
How do you know the sky is falling? asked the king. Well, Ducky Lucky told me, said Goosey Lucy. Cocky Locky told me, said Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny told me, said Cocky Locky. Chicken Little told me, said Henny Penny. I saw it with my own eyes and heard it with my own ears. A piece of it fell on my tail, said Chicken Little. Hmm. The king looked at Chicken Little and then reached behind her feathers and pulled out an acorn. Chicken Little, the sky isn't falling. It was an acorn that fell on your tail, said the king. All the animals laughed, and Chicken Little laughed too, and they all went back home again. <laughs> that was a silly book, wasn't it? <laughs> We're in my dining room right now, and we are going to attempt a painting of a chicken. Do you think you guys can do it? I have faith in you. I think you guys can do it. Okay, so if we're at school, we usually use paint. Not everybody has paint at home, but most everybody has this. What is this? It's mustard. We're going to try to paint with mustard. Be creative, parents. If you have mustard, use it. If you don't have paint, use markers, crayons, anything you can find. Okay, we have markers. We got different kinds of green markers. Whatever you guys have. I got a black marker. But just find whatever you guys have too. And I have a little ketchup for just in case in a minute too. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to start with is you're going to take your green marker and you guys are going to draw the grass. So I have a plain piece of white paper right here. Both sides. It's just plain, 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 plain. Go ahead and take your green marker and you're just drawing lines on the bottom, okay? You're drawing lines to make the grass, okay? And I have different colors of markers, so you can make different colors. Actually, these are smelly ones, and it smells like apple right now. So your chickens are in grass, right? Draw some lines, straight lines is all you're gonna do, okay? And next, you're going to go through and make some legs. So turn the grass, make sure the grass is facing you. The grass is right here at the bottom. And you're going to draw a straight line down. Two straight lines down, just like that. Okay. This is the chicken's feet and legs. So you're going to put three little toes at the bottom of it. Okay, you just draw more straight lines down. Okay, now the fun part. You need a fork. Okay, and I have a little plate that my cucumbers come on, and I put the mustard on here. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fork, stick it in the mustard, smear it around a bit. You wanna get it on the back side of that fork like that, and that's what you're gonna paint with. Take your fork and you're going to rub it on the plate. See, you're gonna rub it on the plate. You're making the chicken. I'll have to set it down, it's too hard to do in the air. Okay, paint, 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 paint. Just kind of make a circle with it, different directions. Get some more paint or mustard. We won't tell anybody. Nobody will know. And then it looks like this. Okay. And you're going to take a little dab of mustard. Put it back on your little paint tray again. You won't take much because you're just going to use your finger for this real quick. And now here's the funny thing. We're going to make the color orange. So yellow and red Mixed together, make what color? Orange, I gave it away a second ago, didn't I? So we're gonna just put a little tiny squirt on the plate. And you can mix a tiny bit with your fork. Try to make orange with it. See if you can get an orange. 
There you go. See how it made orange? If the red right here and the yellow makes the orange. So now you're going to take your pinky or your finger and you're going to put it right in the middle of that chicken to make his nose. You got to get a little bit more red. There we go. Okay, so you see the orange nose now? Isn't that fun? Now when this dries, you can go through and use your black marker again and put two eyeballs in there. Okay, but you want to wait until it dries first. But there is your chicken. I hope you guys enjoy making your chicken at home. Take pictures of it and post them for us so we can see them. Hope you guys are doing good. We love you and we miss you all.